Hey guys, this is Wes back with another video. Uh, I want to do a little uh, review, autograph review on my uh, wrestling mask. Uh, I think wrestling masks are a cool idea, especially if you have a Lucha Libre or wrestler, one of your you know favorites. Cool way to display it in your room too, or man cave. Um, but yeah, so these three right here, um, I do got them, got them uh, propped on this uh, styrofoam head. I got this head at uh, Michael's. Um, the retail for eight dollars, but after I used the fifty percent off coupon, I got it for around four. Um, but yeah, they got a male and female head. I used the male heads. Uh, but yeah, they got you know the eyes there and the nose, the mouth, so it's pretty cool. Definitely look cool on the shelf. But anyways, let's get into the mask. Uh, so the first mask I got signed ever was uh, by Pentagon Junior or Pentagon L Zero. Um, I got this. I got the mask off eBay. I believe I paid around fifteen dollars for it. Um, obviously, they got different colors and styles uh, i like the black and silver look here um that's usually what he wears um but anyways let's get into the mask um as for like the symbols here you can see it's like a glossy texture to it uh yeah, there you go and then right here around his face you got like a zebra print looking style there then the eyes you go back with the the glossy black there and then you got the star there in like a white um also down here you got the looks like ninja stars almost and then back here you got the uh the black uh i guess you can call it lace or uh string tie downs or whatever and then you got like the ribbon back here uh, but anyways, yeah, I met him up in uh, Miami. It was at Supercon two years ago. I believe this one was in March. Um, yeah, very, uh, he was a cool guy. Uh, he wasn't uh, speaking that good of English. Uh, it was very broken, but he was cool nonetheless. Nobody was there at his booth, so he seemed really happy that I was there. And I really liked the... Uh, the mask there and he just signed it here in silver nothing you know nothing fancy see it says penta zero there so pretty cool cool guy cool mask uh definitely awesome uh the next mask i got signed was by Rey mysterio i uh, got him it was at the basically the same event but it was in july but it was in fort lauderdale um but yeah i got this mask off ebay as well i believe i paid around 20 bucks for it as for that one it has different styles uh, this one jumped out at me because obviously as you can see it's the american theme um very cool you can see it's got the red white stripes on it and at the head here it's got the blue with the white stars then right here you got like the uh good thing how the spanish eagle you got it in like a white pearl that goes the same for the other side and then the eyes and these things up here it's like a navy blue uh, glossy and then you got the uh, pearl white again on the cross and the same thing same thing for the back and then we'll go more into the autograph here a very nice autograph really classy fancy um, this was like I said two years ago so this was before I was getting into paint markers. So I was really freaking out on what to get. Um, I just decided to let him do it. Because in case it messes up, I can always blame him. <laughs> but uh, he signed it here. And it wasn't a paint marker. It was actually a regular Sharpie. And he signed it uh, a blue Sharpies. And it came out really cool. Uh, Ray Mysterio. And it says 619. Um, but yeah, it goes with the theme. You know, red, white, and blue. Definitely my favorite one out of the three. So really awesome. And then the last mask I got was uh, the Killer Bees. Uh, this was signed. I only had um, Brian Blair uh, sign it. Uh, the Killer Bees are consisted of Brian Blair and uh, Jim Brazell. 
Uh, they were in the WWF. A uh, great tag team. Um, they had some great matches with the Hart Foundation, for sure. But uh, anyways, this match as they got at his booth. This was up in Jacksonville at the River City Wrestling Con. And uh, he had two different styles masks. He had this one, which is uh, like a deluxe. And then he had another one. It was pretty generic. It was like this, but it wasn't striped. It was like all yellow and black. It looked generic. Uh, the generic one was 20 bucks signed. This one was 40 I uh, went ahead and paid up for the, uh, the deluxe. I actually had a buddy of mine that went with me, and we went to his booth. And we asked about, because he had a paper with all, you know, the information on autographs and stuff like pictures. And uh, he actually, uh, this was, he only had two left of this one. So we went ahead and bought the last two that he had there. So that was pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it's like a fabric. Uh, yellow and black, of course, for the killer bees. Uh, around the eyes and mouth here, it's like a leather black and then here's his autograph pretty fancy i um, just need to get a uh, jim brazil which i'm uh, which i guess i can get him at the uh the mouth there so that'd be cool but yeah that'd be That'd be cool to get uh, Jim Brazil there. But that's about it, guys. Um, just wanted to show you these uh, autographs. Um, like I said, very cool to display in your room. And uh, I think I'm about to end this video here. Um, I think my next couple videos. Got a couple more wrestling items I want to review. And then I'm actually going to switch off to my celebrity stuff. Um, yeah, after the wrestling reviews, I got two more. I got a guitar and a, a wrestling bell. And after that, I'm going to do some album reviews. I got four albums that I want to do. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, guys. I uh, appreciate all the views and the comments. And go ahead and like and subscribe. And you guys take care. Thanks.